Hi guys, um, had an interesting case this week. I treated a case of rhinophyma. Rhinophyma is a gradual thickening of the skin, um, which is really uh, due to over uh, thickening of the outer layer of the skin, the epidermis, uh, the connective tissue, the oil glands or sebaceous glands of the nose overgrow and form these tumors or growths, which can uh, obviously be completely disfiguring. Um, but can also lead to functional problems like nasal obstruction because the weight of the rhinophyminous lesions can cause collapse of the ala and difficulty with breathing. Obviously, it's a uh, has a, a big social stigma. Patients uh, are really affected by it deeply. So treating these patients is very uh, important and very rewarding because it allows them really to get back to a, to a normal life. You may be wondering, oh, okay, what is this and can I catch it or can I get this uh, problem? It's a relatively rare disorder. Um, it's thought to be on the spectrum of uh, rosacea type disorders. So rosacea is uh, a, a disease which basically causes inflammation in the skin leading to abnormal growth of uh, blood vessels. So uh, milder forms of rosacea could be a form of flushing in the cheeks which is persistent or what's called telangiectasia, small spider veins. It can progress to inflammatory rosacea where you get small pustules uh, over the face and, and, and nose area. And then in its most severe case can progress to the condition called uh, rhinophyma which we uh, just discussed. It's not really known what the cause are, causes are. Um, it is associated with certain, um, you know, uh, uh, types of uh, uh, etiologic factors. Like for example, men typically are more prone to rosacea and develop it between the ages of 50 and 70. Certain uh, ethnic backgrounds, Scandinavian, Irish, English type, uh, uh, Northern European type backgrounds are more likely to develop rosacea it's, uh, or rhinophyma. Um, you can treat telangiectasia or blood vessels with laser type devices as well. But the mainstay of, of treatment for rhinophyma once it develops that end stage is, to, is, is um, really surgical treatment. For big, um, large nodule rhinophyminous lesion, first is surgical excision, so you know, bluntly excising um, the, the larger lesions. Um, and then dermabrasion, which is uh, sanding, a mechanical sanding with a diamond uh, uh, burrs to um, remove some of the extra skin uh, or overgrowth of the skin layers and oil glands, and then laser to kind of um, you know coagulate the skin and, and, and remove some additional layers. So that's the technique that I use. So that's it on rhinophyma. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take care.